All right, you then, guys, move to earn GVB back today with a major update on the walking app. I uh, haven't done many videos recently for the walking app, just mainly because I've been too busy. And I'm um, trying to find some really good content for you to be able to watch and obviously be able to learn from as well. So today what I'm going to be going over is the major changes that came about in the last couple of days. So if you've been living under a rock, you will you'll not know, but everybody else will that um, the the plane against the bot has disappeared. So what's ended up happening is uh, we now have this this new one, which is the um, the chests where you have to put a team of uh, catathletes together and um, you will get a certain tier of chests. So mine have just matured and are ready to, to be open. So I put my team together quite hastily last time without really looking too much into the rules. So we're just going to have a quick check to see which ones I've, um, I've won, get those claimed, and then um, maybe talk about a little bit of strategy going forward. So it, it, this did come as quite a surprise to, to everybody, including myself. If you've watched the other videos, again, if you haven't, like and subscribe, you'll be able to hear what I've had to say on it. Play to um, play to earn games like this were always going to have to be player to player. Um, if you're just consistently fighting bots and taking money out, excuse me, taking money out, it's it's always doomed to fail. So when we do the math around the player to player, obviously when you buy the miss berries, you will um, you will win more than what you'll spend. But in terms of the two players, somebody has to lose, and the gap between is where walking will make their money and make this sustainable. Now. With that in mind, let's just have a look how this has worked out. So, um, we've got a level uh, 9 chest, which is one off the top, so fairly happy with that. Got a level 5, which is, you know, effectively next to nothing, really. Um, a level 10 chest there somehow, which is really lucky. And this one, was because it was only cut a had uh, in there, is 153. And level 6 chest there. And again, a level 10 chest there. So I've, I've been really lucky with these here. So I'm going to claim that reward. And that's nearly 3,000 walking tokens. And we'll get that put in. I'm just going to check here just so we can see whether this goes into your uh, pendant balance, which it does. Now, this is where there will be a bit of controversy because from what I remember, if your pendant balance is over 2,500 walking, you can't then move that to um to your wallet i believe it'll be an error so unless they've changed this let's just check because what it did last time i had this issue when the first um player versus player came out i i ended up making a lot of walking but not pushing the pendant balance and then when i went on the forums to try and find out it did something very similar to this um where it won't push to there so i'm just gonna I'm just going to give it a quick minute there um, to see whether it will do it. I doubt it will, but if it doesn't, um, what I'll need to do is I will just do what I was going to do anyway, which is buy some more Miss Berries um, and top them up. And I'll show you, obviously, the limit that um, it goes down to before, before um, we end this video. But in the meantime, let's have a look at the tournament here. Now, one other thing I noticed as well um, with this as well is I bought three items of clothing the other day as well with the... With the um, Player to player coming up, I needed some more clothing to make my um, success rate a little bit higher in terms of the jewels. So as you can see, um, I've got quite a bit of ground to make up. But, excuse me, still being profitable, still still feeling me way into it. I think it's a very long process to figure out your exact um, strategies. Where I'm looking at the moment is I believe that you need a cat of... I'll show you my level 9, which I'm just about to upgrade with 10. Um, so this one here, for example... Although those stats a few months ago, he, he would have been not worthless, but he wouldn't be very valuable. I believe that is the kind of stats that you're now looking for, where you need a, a definitely a top a top attribute, but you need one that's not far behind as well. And what, what I would advise people to look at is potentially any items of clothing that they're buying to try and use it to, to make sure you, your strength in this case and the speed are also... Um, kind of improved so that you, you're not just putting all your eggs in one basket because as was the way beforehand you used to just have to choose which um what kind of jewel you want to, to fight against the computer 
And obviously the higher that your stats were on the one that you were choosing, the better. However, with this game, the, it's it's pretty difficult to um, to land that one every time, you know. So I think you need to kind of cover your bases and give yourself a, at least a sort of 66% chance that you, um, you can kind of hit the one that you need. And if not, you know, you never know. Then the other guy might not have your... Um, your weakest one either that might not be a high attribute for them so you can then take that chance in it i think that'll improve it so for example this this guy here um, i'm just going to kind of show you what i mean now he um doesn't have the best of clothing really as you can see I've, I've only this is an old one really i've never really done much with this cat um but he has been one of the better jewelers at the minute so as you can see the straight ends are common straight ends of uncommon but his stamina and speed are quite high so i'll quickly show you um what I mean by this, so as long as we don't hit the um, the strength, I think we should have a good chance. Make sure as well, if you are going to play, you need to buy the energy drink and the red heron because you're, you're asking for a lot of luck, if not. Um, right, so let's just quickly see what's, what happens here. So we've got that, we've got the, the best one you could get, which is the stamina, so... This guy, I've got quite lucky, hasn't got any clothes, so unless it's an absolute crazy um, stamina stat, he sh I should win this comfortably, unless he gets very lucky somehow. Yeah, so he can't win that, no matter what happens from here with the red heron, etc. So there you go. So that that's kind of there what I mean. I mean, I'm not too sure why he's putting all these stupid emoji things up there, but each to their own. So that's, that's an easy win there. Um... If, for example, I look at this cat, so we'll just have a quick check on um, what he's got. He could do with some more clothes, to be fair. He's got the four there. Um, and again, maybe a better standard as well. But I do believe his stats aren't too bad, so I do use this one um, for duels. He's not as effective as the other one. Um, obviously, he hasn't got as much clothes as well. But I've got 15% boost on my... Um, on my stats as well so if it does become a stamina race I do have an outside chance of being able to win that um so let's have a look there you go and again as long as i don't get a cat here with lots of uh lots of stamina i've got a chance the problem is because he's legendary there's a good chance he could have high stamina here but let's see no so he must be big on the speed there it is as we were expecting That's another good solid win there. So, yeah, that's kind of what I mean there. It's, it's worked out perfectly, really, for this video, so you can see that. Don't get frustrated. I get frustrated every day when you go through a spell of maybe losing three or four in a row, but don't forget you can also win lots of them off the trot as well. Um, so that's where I'm at with it. I'm going to be unclothing a lot of these cats after this video, and I'm going to have a good look and see who needs what and make some sort of super cats. Um and hold some profit back every day to to kind of reclothe the next cat and so on and so forth um because back in the day the strategy has gone out the window of having a certain amount of clothing for each cat to make sure you've got a certain amount of walking each time um but i mean those days have gone so we need to go back to the drone board i'm gonna have to accept it's gonna cost us some money by not being able to to duel in the meantime and then um i'm gonna i'm gonna push forward with that so let's just go back see if that pen and balance has moved which we know it hasn't, but there you go. Yeah, so as you see, it doesn't move. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to upgrade that other cat to level 10. Um, I've already used the gems for this anyway, so I've gone right past them. Where is he? There he is. So let's get him upgrade to level 10. And I'll have to wait till this time tomorrow to um to get um the clothes put on him, but I think he'll be a good addition. So now if you if I push this balance now, it should go through. There you go. So yeah, I do believe it's about two and a half thousand is the, the limit for it. I have no idea why. Um but that is something I found out. So make sure you don't make the same mistake as me um in the past with that because if you if you need that money out for whatever reason, you're gonna to have to spend a certain amount of money before you can um you can um obviously take it out and not you might not always want to spend it to be able to get it out. So don't let it I have heard of a friend of mine 
let his balance pen and balance get up to something something silly into the like the seven thousands and stuff before he found out as well. So yeah, it saves you some money in the long run. But I'm really positive about the changes. Um, I think they needed to happen. The the price is still a little bit low with walking at the minute. Um, for my liking, but let's just have a quick check what it is. So let's have a look. Yeah, it's it's dipped massively there. So as we can see, that dip there will be because of all the chests that just came out. Um, as you can see, it's just went flat there within the space of the last hour or so. So don't worry too much about it. That will come back up, I'm I'm sure, before the end of today. Um, something for the team to look at, but um, they'll figure it out. And I'm not expecting to get back to the four pences and stuff like that because that was that was then. This is now. There's a lot more walking to to be won. So you you're making more a day, but it's going to be less valuable. But it'll it'll figure itself out, and then um, we'll go from there. So thank you for watching, guys. As always. Um, please like and subscribe, leave me a like and a comment as well. It means more than what you'll know to support the channel. Thank you very much. And um, if there's any other videos or anything else you're looking for explained on the move to earn world, let me know. Um, do you know pets is going to be something I'm going to be focusing on in the coming weeks as their um, battles are looking to come on. So we'll, um, we'll do a good review on that as well. All right. Thanks again. 